That was I Can Dig It by Booker T and the MGs off their 1968 album, Doing Our Thing. I've never really listened to Booker T and the MGs myself. The only Booker T I'm super familiar with is the wrestler, King Booker. <laughs> uh, we're listening to that today because we have a Beatles song from 1968 up in competition today. Hi, my name is Bean, and you're watching Battle of the Band. We are on day 200 of the Beatles today. Finally made it to our 200th day of having this channel. 200 days of playing the Beatles in a weird way. Uh, let me get that out of the way for anyone that's going to complain about it later. Um, I am going to play the Beatles reversed with a bit of distortion. If that sounds like it's going to break your ears, well, just so you know, you can mute this video and see the song linked up above when it starts playing. Click that and it'll open it up in a new window for you. And then you can listen to the Beatles song and come back for the commentary. I've been getting a lot of people just complaining about the Beatles played backwards and uh, not really offering any kind of constructive criticism. Um, I mean, I can't play the Beatles because I can't play the Beatles because it's just, you know, they have the copyright. They don't let people play their songs unless you have express permission from the Beatles, which I cannot afford. I don't make money on this channel. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, we're on the 200th day of dealing with that. <laughs> but we're on the 200th day of the Beatles, and I think the tournament overall was 255 days. So we're getting really close to the end here. If you're new here, and you're wondering what am I even talking about, well, I'll fill you in. We took every single Beatles song we could find, we threw them into a single elimination style tournament, and now they're doing battle head to head until there's one left remaining in the end, and that's the very best song the Beatles have ever made. As I said, I have to play the songs backward, and that's due to copyright. If you're interested in seeing this kind of content with songs played normally, just so you know, all of my other videos are played normally. It's just the Beatles stuff until I'm done with the Beatles stuff in like 55 days. <laughs> I forgot yesterday also um, was my 400th video overall. So we were 200 Beatles videos in, and now, after this video is done, we'll be 401 videos in. We've got a long one ahead of us today. First up, we've got Hey Jude, which is a single released in 1968. Uh, it was backed with Revolution, and it wasn't actually on an album at all. Everybody knows Hey Jude, though, even though it wasn't on an album. Everybody knows Hey Jude. It's, it's like probably 90% of people's favorite Beatles song. We'll see how it does in the tournament. Last, uh, last round it went up against Rain, which was a pretty tough battle actually. I really fell in love with Ringo's drumming on Rain. And uh, in the round prior it went up against You Know What To Do. So it's had it, uh, had it pretty easy in the first round. Second round was a little more difficult just because I love Ringo so much. Speaking of Ringo, if you feel like it, you can donate $10 to this channel through Venmo or Cash App, and I have these buttons I'm giving out. Um, basically, $10 gets you a button. We'll consider it a membership to the No Ringo No Life Club, which is the best club around. Ask anyone who has one of these buttons. They'll agree. Hey Jude's competition today is She's Leaving Home, which uh, I've always really enjoyed She's Leaving Home. That one's from 1967 off of Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Um, She's Leaving Home is a pretty awesome song. I really enjoy it. Uh, going up against Hey Jude is going to be kind of tough, but it hasn't had it too easy in, in general anyway. Last round it went up against Because, which I love Because. I could see picking Because over She's Leaving Home. This must have been just depending on my mood, basically. In the first round, She's Leaving Home went against Flying, which was a pretty easy battle there. Let's go ahead and get into these songs and see which one's the better of the two. Hey Jude is one of the longest Beatles songs, so definitely, if you don't want to hear it played backwards and distorted, click the link when it pops up above the video uh, once I start playing the song. Here's Hey Jude.
It's interesting they uh convinced John to change revolution for this single, but they uh Paul refused to let it be like reduced down to a single length. I don't know if the rest of the Beatles were all hundred percent on on that or what, but they could have shaved off two minutes of that song. It would have been fine. They were going a little too far, I think, but you know it's a great song. It's just a little too long. They could have cut two minutes off. the song would have been just as good, I think that's just me. Great song anyway. Still one of the best Beatles songs out there. Let's see how she's leaving Homestacks up. Oh, <laughs> 
So, that's a pretty good song. I always love that song, too. It's kind of a tough choice, honestly. Um, just because I don't want to cut She's Leaving Home so early. But She's Leaving Home is up against Hey Jude, which is an absolute monster of a song, honestly. Even though it is a little too long. I hope y'all are ready for that. It is too long, so there might be better songs for me. Um. Yeah, I have to give it to Hey Jude right now. Uh, that one's just a more of a a Beatles song overall. Like uh, there were you know Beatles instruments were the predominant portion of the song. It's just a really good rock ballad. It, it's a great song for people to you know sing along to. Everybody loves the na na na's at the end, even though they go on too long. I think they go on too long, kind of in order to sing along with it, really. I don't know. We've got social media if you want to talk about it. There's Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. There's, there's also a TikTok account if you feel like this is all just a little too long. Check out that TikTok account. As mentioned before, we have a Venmo and a Cash App, and you can get one of these cool No, no Ringo No Life buttons if you donate $10. I will link the songs played normally, as well as the tournament bracket down in the description. But if you look down below me here, you will see the tournament bracket URL, and you can click that and see what's coming up. Thanks for sticking around for 200 days of these videos. I hope you've been enjoying yourself as much as I have. Um, the Beatles sucks to hear them backwards and everything, but you know, if you've been here, you know what to do. Please like the video if you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I could also use some more shares out there, so share it out there with some of your friends and your family members. And why don't you comment down below and let me know which of these two songs you would have chosen if it were you in the hot seat today. Hope you all have a great night, fantastic afternoon, and a wonderful morning. I'll see you in just a little bit for the white zombie stuff coming up. In fact, this video went long, so it might already be playing. While we're talking, we better get in it. We better get to it. Bye. Is it doing our thing? 68.